Hi, so welcome back to Real Auto Reports. This is a special real quick video to show you how easy or difficult it is to take the Targa roof off on the all new 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray C7. So this is a pretty cool looking car, but is it as easy to use as we would like? Well, let's go check it out. So to get started, we're gonna go around and take this Targa roof off. So to do that, just bear with me as I open the electronic doors, I'm gonna get in the vehicle, and I'm gonna keep talking to you as I do this. I'm gonna undo the two latches. There's one in the back here with the safety latch first, then you click it out. You wanna pop the rear trunk, and before you take that roof off, make sure you open your trunk, just like that, take out the cover, that you might have back here that they include and make sure you're all clear here because you have a couple snaps in here and we'll zoom in and give you some closer pictures of this but you have some snaps here that you're going to snap that snap that rear target into so this is carbon fiber it should be fairly light but it's still a big panel and i am not a weakling but I'm telling you that this is not easy necessarily to lift off depending on your height. Now, bring this around. And the biggest problem you're gonna have with this is you're gonna wanna make sure you're not trying to scratch it on your belt. I'm not wearing any metal today, so <laughs> that's a good thing. And yes, it kinda is taxing. So you wanna then lift this in directly like this it's gonna fit right into these little notches here in the front of the trunk. And then, oh, oops, I didn't get that right. No, you have to lift it over and it latches in to the back braces where your uh, latches are. So there, it fits in there. Snap it down and it's secure. Now, that's a little taxing to figure out. So hopefully the dealer is going to show you how to do all this because then you shut the trunk and you're ready to go here with your target top. But what about putting it back on? As you can imagine, that was a little taxing to put it on. But first I need to lower the windows to make sure I don't damage the glass. So I'm going to start it up. That lovely rumble. I'm gonna just drop the windows a little bit here so I don't hurt them. Make sure the visors are down so I don't hurt them. Turn the car off again. I'm gonna pop the trunk again so I can get to my top. I open it up. Now you just lift firmly and it comes out. Make sure you get a good hold of this. This is not a cheap panel and neither is the paint. And remember that if you drop it, you're gonna do some significant scarring to this panel. So you take it out, get a good hold on it. Now here's the tricky part. How do I get it across the car? Well, I like to grab it here in the middle and kind of just ease it down so that it's sitting on the rubber of the front of the roof. You then have to try to line it up with the rear holes. Yeah, hold on a second, this might take a minute. Uh, gosh, um, hmm. Okay, that's the driver's side. I think this may require going around. Okay, there, you wanna make sure that your rubber is lined up. You don't wanna be pinching it all the time. There you go, you got it in there, and see now it sits flat down on those, on those uh, latch holes. So see, it's all nice and flush. Check that your rubber is all lined up. You don't wanna crease it and damage it if you crimp it the wrong way. Now you get in, latch the roof, latch the back part of the roof, and you are ready to go. And uh, well, that's Real Auto Reports. We'll see you later.